from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another hot one out there today. Well, let me get out of the way. I don't want to hit the Doppler there as we take a look at our drone cam this afternoon. Cloud and sun mix, some darker clouds off to the south, and then you look off to the north. We have bluer skies and a very tropical atmosphere. It looks like a little haze out there as well. Love these shots. Give us a nice uh, view of what's going on across Acadiana. There's a nice cumulus cloud with a darker base, but not quite raining yet, but that could get darker and eventually rain. And then look off to the west. You see those darker clouds with showers and storms as we got down into Vermilion Parish. And we'll get to that in just a bit. This is what we're going to be dealing with over the next week or more. High pressure to the north, high pressure to the east, and in between a weakness in the atmosphere bisecting across the Gulf of Mexico. And that's going to be the predominant weather maker. And we're thinking less and less that there's going to be tropical development here. Eventually, maybe some heavy rainfall, but today's model is shifting a lot of that heavy rainfall offshore. And as we've been saying, it looks like the worst of the weather may manifest either south of uh, Acadiana or east of Acadiana with time. Now, this afternoon, a couple of storms in the west, uh, usual spots, some um, active weather with severe thunderstorms expected from uh, the mid Atlantic up through the northeast. And again, we're dealing with that disturbance. And as we take a look at the radar satellite composite, you see showers and storms, but nothing too terribly concentrated. And we're kind of on the backside of the system. So our showers and thunderstorms are coming in from the northeast and are not as widespread. Look at the action, though, offshore. And uh, as uh, I was looking at this earlier today, there could have been a very weak area of low pressure over here, maybe in mid levels. Also with this thunderstorm cluster down here. So this is kind of an elongated trough of low pressure that connects all the way up through the Florida panhandle. And locally, we've seen some pretty hefty storms coming into Acadiana uh, with the strongest action across Vermilion Parish that saw a pretty good storm yesterday a little bit earlier in the afternoon, but you can see that storm mainly impacting coastal marshy areas will impact uh, Pecan Island and Grand Chenier with time. So be on the lookout. A lot of cloud to ground lightning with this cell, and we did see uh, even a little bit in the way of rotation with this as we take a look at our storm tracking here and we'll bring it down right now. It's just showing uh, the possibility of some hail, uh, but strong and gusty winds, maybe a little hail with this cell that's up in northern Jeff Davis Parish uh, just south of Kinder and a couple of other uh, cells that we're seeing. But uh, there is a close uh, zoomed in look of that. That's a strong thunderstorm with a lot of cloud around lightning showing up. Scattered activity as we get further inland where people live. You can see the activity in Jeff Davis Parish. Activity should diminish as we lose that daytime heating and our tropical system or potential tropical system. Uh, the risk of it developing even lower today down at 20 percent but the rainfall could be a main threat. And as we take a look at the European model of moisture, GFS looks a little bit wetter, but yeah, we see a lot of red across the area, but nothing that is super deep tropical moisture and it keeps moving around. So maybe not as much rain as the forecasts have been indicated. And then it looks like the rain chances may actually go down into the weekend. But the latest weather prediction center output is still calling for five to 10 inches of rain, mostly offshore, maybe clipping southeast Louisiana, much lower totals, couple of inches of rain possible, and this is over the next seven days. So we're not looking at a serious situation by any stretch of the imagination. So showers ending early this evening. Tomorrow we do it all over again. Another hot day. Temperatures getting into the low to mid 90s, but scattered storms, a slightly better chance tomorrow afternoon and well into tomorrow evening, more than likely. And then as we head into Friday, probably another good chance of storms at some point during the day is our model showing that. And then again, and day's not a washout, but there'll be a couple of hour periods where things kind of shut down because shower and thunderstorm activity. Overnight tonight, showers end early. Look for a full buck supermoon tonight. It's officially full after about midnight. And then for tomorrow, we're going to see another partly cloudy, hot and humid day with scattered afternoon showers and storms. 93 the high, heat index back up to 93. And here come the rains during the course of the afternoon, showing up nicely on our true view forecast. And you can see how those clouds thicken up later in the day into the early evening hours. So moving forward, I got our highest rain chances Thursday, but again, none of these days are washouts. Rain chances bouncing between 40 to 60% through much of next week as well. Just slightly better than normal rain chances with the heat and humidity continuing. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.